Alright, what's up? Um, YouTube, it's your boy James C. Back with another video. I'm trying to see what I'm looking at. Like I'm back with another video. So this this video is gonna be 25 questions about me. Just get to know me tag. Just you know, see some things, know some things about me in my page. Cause you don't know, I just started a new page yesterday, and yeah, so it's gonna get to know me. So here we go. First thing. What's your full name? My full name is James Edward Connerly. Um, Cause I guess my dad's name is James Edward Moore. Just I got my mom's last name. So. <laughs> so uh, yeah. What does your name mean? Nothing. I think it's pretty prestigious though if you ask me. You know, I could call any company, any anything in the world, say, you know, how you doing? This is James Kearney, I can't speak to so-and-so. They automatically don't think I'm a big boss or, you know what I'm saying, just because I said, you know, my name is James Kearney, you know what I'm saying? If my name was Levantre or McGee, they wouldn't take me that serious, but I think James Kearney is very prestigious. It's a very strong name to have. Are you named out of anyone? Like I said, I think my dad, but he doesn't have my last name. Does your name make, make any answer? In, okay, not that question. If you had to change your first name, what would you change to? I love my name. I would never change it. Where are you from? I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. It's a small little city in Louisiana. Well, one of the bigger cities in Louisiana, most of the well known cities in Louisiana. Um, like New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Shreveport is one of the party cities. You can come there and go. You got clubs and hella, you know, at least three or four casinos. It's a big party city. It's not much more than, than that, you know. But that's where I'm from. Um, where'd you grow up? Uh, this is funny. Um, I grew up half my life in Texas and half of in Louisiana. So like when I was young. I grew up, I was down here in Dallas, well, that's why I live in Dallas, Texas. I was, when I, from the time I was like six to like, I was like 14 or 13, I would live in Dallas. And I moved back to Shreveport um, at, when I was a teenager, when I first started middle school, I was in seventh grade, I was like 12 or 13. And then I lived in Louisiana till I was like 20. And then I moved to Houston for about six, seven months. I moved back to Louisiana when I was 21 for like three years, three, almost four years. I moved back to Texas, which is Dallas. And um, I've been here ever since. I've been in Texas now for going on, this is the sixth year. So um, and I'll be 29 this year. So I guess that'll be, you know, six years. So yeah, that's where I grew up. Um, who who did you look up to growing up? I actually looked up to my brother a lot, my older brother. I'm the youngest of four. Um, I'm the youngest of four, and you know, I'm everybody's older than me. And my brother, he was just he was just he wasn't ever my friend, but he was definitely a person I try to stay around a lot and try to learn things from and be like, you know. In the end of the day, we both grown. He don't actually want me to do that anymore. He actually say, you know, pretty much get your own identity. So, yeah. Um, what are your best characteristics? I don't know. I, I don't really understand this question, but if I had to think what's best thing about me, I would say, um, but looks-wise, I would say my smile, my eyes, I got, my body. I got a pretty nice body. And um, probably my hair. But... Besides that, my personality, um, I would just say my communication skills. Uh, my communication skills. Um, my the way I dress, uh, the way I can. I'm a Libra, so I can really uh, understand people's emotions and things about other people. That the next might not really understand, so it's really cool. Um, I'm just and I'm keen with music and people, 
you know. So I'm just a really good people person. I have a good personality when it comes to dealing with people. So fun fact. All right. What are, your, what, are, what are some what are your favorite things about yourself? Uh, one of my number one favorite things about myself is that I don't judge. I know what it feels like to be judged and be all kind of things, bad, good, whatever. So my favorite thing about me is is, is not judging people. Understanding that you know when you talk about people and things like that, you know talk shit or hate on people, it's it's really hurt people's feelings. No matter what your attention was, you just trying to be funny. Or you just doing it out of ill will. It's it's really hurtful. So I think the best best thing about myself, I think that is I don't judge. I'm really I live life based off of reality instead of my emotions. You know, instead of thinking like I don't like that motherfucker, I'll be like I think like what happened that motherfucker did to me. You know, so I think that's my favorite thing about myself. Next question: Which are your parents are you closest to? My mom. Um. I actually, I actually uh, tell her all the time, like, I think I'm the male version of you, mom. She's like, no, you're not. But I think I am. You know, my dad, he's he's never been around, so that's the average black story. You know. Okay. Next, next question. I'm trying to get these. I'm trying to look in the camera. I'm trying to look at my phone and look at the camera. Can't tell what I'm looking at. Okay. Next question. Are your grandparents still married? No, they're not. Not both. Okay, both both my granddads are dead. My mom's dad and my dad's dad is they dead, and most of my granny's still alive. So no. Which relative is important to you growing up, and why? I don't. I, I'm not really close to much of my relatives. No, no, I never really close to my relatives. Like I said, I live in Dallas a lot. My my people live in Louisiana, so I never really around them a lot. It was just me, my brother, my mom, my sister. He my oldest brother. He from Memphis, and I wasn't around him a lot. It just did me, my brother, my mom, and my sister. Um. What is what is one thing that you never Reveal to your parents. I don't know. I'm very open. My life is an open book. I talk so much. I like when I drink coffee, I talk so much. So I might reveal things you might not even want to hear. You know what I'm saying? I'm not very a secretive person. So anything you want to know, just ask me. I mean, I, 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 when I say anything, I mean anything. I, I feel like. If I lie to you, it's because I don't want you to know something. And, and you understand that what I, what you mean when I say that? Like if I lie to you, it's when I don't want you to know something. But that means like you can ask me anything. But if I didn't want you to know something, then I'll probably lie. You know, like if my mom, if, if my mom or my girl was at work and I was at home like I am now, and they asked James, you know, did you wash the dishes? And I know I ain't washed dishes. I ain't cleaned the house like they asked me to do. I will lie and be like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I ain't do it. That's how I would lie. If I didn't want you to know something, I would lie to you. But really, I'm an open book. You can ask me anything. All right, next question. What would your parents have named you if you're opposite gender? Ashley, so I'm pretty, you know. I think I'm a pretty good looking man, so, so I'm pretty. <laughs> All right. What do you call your grandparents? Uh, I actually call my grand, my my daddy, mama, granny, and I call my mama, my my mother's mother, uh, my mama. I don't even, just, you know, we're not really close. So I, just, I, I speak of her like the third person, like your mama, uh, my mama. I don't really call her granny. I don't really talk to her that much. She, she's it's not a story. What's your best physical feature? I think I already said this, my smile. I gotta go to the dentist, but I think it's my smile. I think it made my eyes. I think I got nice clean eyes. Sorry, now look like I'm high. 
but that's a pretty nice size. Anyways, next question. What's your biggest accomplishment? Um, I think my biggest accomplishment is just coming out of a a bad uh bad time in my life, and I was really really in a bad place, and I kind of broke out of that whole kind of world I was living in, and I shook back, and I just kind of became a man instead of being like really depressed and. So I, my biggest accomplishment would, to me would be is just being resilient and fighting, even though the world trying, even though it feel like the world trying to bring you down, you're just fighting back and staying on two feet like a man, and staying up against all odds. At the end of the day, it's just being strong and you know being a you know. It's a song called by Lupe Fiasco. I don't know what it's called, but I love the hook. He said, "I could have died, but I came out fighting." Could have died, but I came out fighting. Could have died, but I came out fighting. Fighting. Could have died, but I came out fighting. So, yeah. So, I hope I'm looking at the camera. Okay. Next question. Okay, with some of these questions I have. What's my biggest fear? I don't know, nothing. I'm gonna get a tattoo. <clears throat> I think God is my biggest fear. I'm gonna get a tattoo is um they say fear nothing but God, I'm gonna get it right here in my heart. Fear nothing but God. You know, I'm gonna get tattooed, so I always look at and remember that don't fear nothing but God. You know. Yeah. Next question. I don't know how many questions I'm just gonna stop when I get tired. What inspires you? Um, things that inspire me are people that that uh, have accomplished goals that no matter what age they are, and living in a, a place uh, where they're comfortable and they can be successful and be happy. Um, people that inspire me, people that the 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 low man, the the underdog, and they they come up like a rose sitting out of a, 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 a out of a crack, you know, shining and beautiful. Now, those people inspire me. Musicians that are successful are just trying to get on their feet and have, build a fan base. Because I'm into music. Build, build a fan base and successful of doing it by themselves. That inspires me. You know, things, people that can, can fight and with, with, with our eyes coming up against them, they still stand on their two feet, shining like, like gold. And it what inspires me. Next question What's your favorite drink? Um, if I okay, so it's two of them. My favorite drink is actually water. I just feel like water is so amazing and it feels so good when going down your body. You can feel it make your body feel better. But if I had, if I had to think of alcohol because I drink it, uh, it's just beer. They sell in Texas called Natty Daddy, 8%, 25 ounces, and it's the best beer I've ever had in my life. I drink it as much as I possibly can. So, yeah. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is chicken. Well, chicken, rice, and pasta. Any type of chicken, any type of rice, any type of pasta. You know, like noodles or Alfredo or macaroni noodles. You know, anything like, yeah, that's pasta. Chicken, rice, and pasta. What's your favorite quote? Quote. I think mine probably right right now is a uh, young and May. I could never lose what you thought. What they thought. I could never lose what you thought. You know, it's like I feel like that's how my life is. Like some people want to see me go down, and when I when I fall off, when I fail on certain missions, they want they think, okay, James stuck. He gonna just stop right there, and I come back, hit him hard again. He stunned me. He got money. He, he got a new job. He's doing what he got to do. So I think my favorite one is I can never lose what you thought. Alright. Best question. I think I'm gonna do like five more, because I don't know how many questions I'm gonna do. What's your favorite social media channel? Obviously YouTube. I don't have cable and I when I'm not playing my game, I'm watching YouTube. 
I'm addicted, like highly, highly addicted to music. If I had to name one addiction that would be my main one that I couldn't live without, is music. I can go without cigarettes, I can go without beer. I can even go without sex, but music, I gotta hear it every day. You know, so that's my number one addiction. Am I a dog or a cat person? I'm a dog person. I, don't, I think cats are lazy. They're a waste of time. Lions, big cats, yeah. them boys go hunt and they do what they got to do and protect their pride. But cats, it's like, a, it's like a woman living at home with you. She don't work, she don't clean, she don't cook. She just want to look pretty every day. You are always, what do I have you here for? You can't do anything to help me. But a dog, best friend, man, best friend. I'm going to do three more, I think. Do you have a tattoo? No. But I plan on getting uh, just two. I want to get Laugh Now and Cry Later on both my arms, like the Joker on Laugh Now and Cry Later. And then, like I said, the Fear Nothing But God on my heart. I'm going to do two more. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. How old were you when you found out Santa wasn't real? I don't know how old I was, but I promise you, I, be I believe that he was real for for real, for real. Like, I never forget, like, I was a kid, uh, and I was probably like six or seven. I remember it was the winter time, it was after the winter, because it's Christmas. And I was I had woke up like at 12 o'clock at night. You know, as a kid, you'd be so excited to open your presents the next day. You can't sleep, so I, I woke up like 12 o'clock at night, and I, and I swear I heard like someone walking on top of the the, the roof of the the house, and I'm like, that's Santa. But I'm, like, I'm thinking like, if I if I go to sleep, I won't see him, and then I get my present, you know. But you can't see Santa, you know, he won't come in. So I, I, I don't know how old I was when I thought he wasn't, when I realized that he wasn't real, but my mom always said, I'm Santa Claus. So I think when she started saying that I, she was Santa Claus, that's when I realized, you know, but I thought it was real for a long time. Last question. That's the last question. This is a deep one. So it says, <clears throat> have you forgiven yourself for past personal failures? Why or why not? All right. This is a really good question. So, yeah, I, I've I've been trying to be the man for many years. I mean, I've been I've been working since I was seventeen, and I've been known to having money and doing things that made me feel comfortable and make me feel like a man, you know, you know. But I, I've had I have had many goals that I wanted that I could never reach, and with things I wanted to do, be like become a famous rapper at, at a young age. There were many things I wanted to accomplish as, at a young age and, you know, have a house and a car and an apartment and a woman. I'll be married and have four kids and things like that. But I never got to have, you know, the type of lifestyle I wanted to live. You know what I'm saying? I never got that. So, and I do forgive myself for not getting it because if, if you don't push on and push forward and put, the, you know, and to stay positive and know that one day it's going to happen you keep, up, you know, trying to accomplish your goals. If you let your past beat you down, you always live in the past and what if and what was and what I did do and what I didn't do, you're going to be pretty much crippled your whole life because you're living, um, you're living based off of the thing you did back then. But even my mom said the best. We didn't worry about what you did back then. We're talking about what happened, what's going on right now. So, no, I don't. Uh, uh, yeah, I forget myself. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to just, if I'm going to YouTube, so hopefully YouTube can take me up to higher levels of maybe reach the, the goals I, I always wanted for myself. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys. That's the end of my video. 25 questions by myself. I think I did more than 25, but we ain't going to add that up. You can count if you want to. But, yeah. Um... I just hope y'all guys, you know, follow the wave, the Jane C wave. And I hope this works out. If somebody watches this video, you know what I'm saying? You want to get to know me, you know, you know, 
this is the way to do it. So I guess I'll see y'all next video. Like I like like last time. See you later.